Hey, hello Valley, Pastor Dave here on Monday, August the 3rd, and uh, every once in a while in my neighborhood, a few branches fall off a big tree, and uh, somebody will come and get the big stuff, but sometimes I come and trim a few branches, <coughs> excuse me, sometimes I come and trim a few branches so I can take it home for campfire kindling because on these gorgeous summer evenings, I like to be able to uh, sit out around the campfire with Sherry and enjoy the, the beautiful scenery. Uh, and as I've been out here cutting a little, a few branches off a fallen tree, I uh, have been thinking about uh, a quote, and I can't remember if it was the famous preacher Charles Spurgeon or if it was uh, the famous preacher D.L. Moody, it was one of those guys, I think, who famously uh, said that the best way to make a church grow is to start a fire in the pulpit. And uh, I think you get what he means by that. Uh, the idea that there needs to be some fire from a pastor, from a leader, from a, from a, a teacher, from a preacher, because that kind of passion and that kind of inspiration uh, sparks the entire congregation. But let me tell you something. As I've been thinking about that, and, and I agree with it, uh, I mean, we all know that how important it is to have some uh, passion and fire from leaders uh, and a faith that's alive and burning strong. But now that I've been in ministry for uh, over three decades, uh, I there's truth to what the, that quote says, but it's not the whole truth because uh, I've come to think that the best way to grow a church is to start a fire in the pews, to start a fire in the congregation. Uh, you know, last night I had a little uh, campfire, and uh, I got all my branches put together, and I grabbed a few logs and. Uh, got it all ready for a fire and then I went to my uh, secret stash in the garage where I keep some fire starters. Uh, a couple of little uh, briquettes that uh, burn real easily and help get the whole campfire going. Uh, here's what happened. I put that right under where it should be. I lit it and uh, it started up a little fire and uh, it kind of looked promising for a while but then it went out because uh, there was wet wood. The wood just wouldn't take off and the wood wouldn't. So uh, uh, sometimes having a good starter doesn't mean the fire is going to go. And I don't know how good of a starter I am. I know Pastor Brad and I try hard to uh, quicken the fire of love for the Lord in our church but here's the thing we really need you to catch fire we really need you to participate here's my verse for today it's one you've heard of before it's a little puzzling for our times right now listen to this Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24 let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. What do we do with the Bible verse that tells us to consider how we can spur one another on? How can we spark the fire in each other? And yet that verse says, let's not give up meeting together. Well, what if we can't meet together like we're used to or, or, or like we want to. I just want you to notice that it doesn't say, let us not give up assembling in the same room together. Because, you know, even with the pandemic, God has blessed us with opportunities to continue to meet together. Oh, I got a barking dog going by. We can meet together. I meet together with people every week. So can you. 
I get together for Bible studies, book discussions, fellowship times, prayer times every week. To be honest with you, the pandemic hasn't stopped me one bit from being able to meet together with others, to encourage them, to pray with them, to study with them, to spur each other on. It can happen. It can happen right now. The reason it's happening in my life is because I want it to. I'm committed to it. How can I convince you to have that same kind of passion and fire for your spiritual, your own spiritual life, for the good of your family, for the good of our church, for the good of our world, our community? Listen, we need to dry out the wood. We need to get real and understand that really nothing going on, no governor's order, no pandemic, no political situation, no health situation is really stopping the church from being the church. We need to look at ourselves and say, what can I do to catch fire? Maybe you're somebody who can help us get our, our weekly assemblies going again. Thanks to everybody who comes to worship. Maybe you're somebody who can participate in a group. Maybe there's just something basic you need to do in your own spiritual walk. Maybe you need to read. Maybe you need to study. Maybe you need to pray. Here's the thing. Don't lose the connection with each other. Let us consider how we may spur one another on. How can we spark each other toward catching fire? That's what the scriptures are encouraging us to do. Let's not give up on being the church, but let us encourage one another and all the more as we see not only the day approaching, but as we see the challenges before us. Let us consider how we can encourage each other and all the more, right now, more than ever, you and I need to stay on fire. Keep that kindling dry. Keep that spark alive. All right? You have a lot of chances this week. We've got Bible studies, book clubs, fellowship groups, prayer times. Please reach out, connect. If you're one of the people, and God bless you, if you're one of the people who's kind of had a hard time connecting, you've kind of lost heart during all this, let me encourage you, don't give up. Get your wood a little bit closer to the embers in the middle of the fire. Help, let us help you catch fire. I hope, I hope I haven't been too ridiculously on fire during this little devotion this morning. But friends, I can't tell you how much your spiritual well welfare and that the goodness and the future and the effectiveness of our church depends on everybody staying connected, staying alive, staying on fire. So let me pray for you. Dear God, help each person in our church family to get close enough to you that the fire and the desire of walking with Jesus and being your people takes hold of us and consumes us. Help us to shine brightly. Help us to draw near to you and to each other. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. The Lord be with you. Be the church. <laughs>